Hello boys and girls and welcome to a flip video which will be starring Connor for a little bit I guess and um, word problems, multi-step word problems with decimals. Uh, it's going to be all about some stuff I do, did at Google. So one thing that we liked to do at Google while we are there were take these jump shots. Um, I don't know why, it just seemed fun to us at the time. So. I realized these would be good pictures for a flip video. So you see we have each person's name, Maggie jumped um, that high, lots of inches, Troy jumped that high, Just jumped that high, Dave jumped that high, and I jumped that high. So now my question is, how much higher did Mr. B and Charlie combined jump than David? So now I'm going to break that down. It wants Mr. B and Charlie combined. Combined is a fancy word for adding and jump than David. So than a lot of times is a clear word that means subtraction. I know that. So when I'm thinking through this I'm going to have to add up Mr. B and Charlie. Let's link those two together and then take that and subtract from David. Jess's information and Maggie's information doesn't matter in that case. So I'm adding up my and um, Charlie's height with my height. 13.728 thousandths plus 12.1. Now I see I don't have enough decimal places, so I can add my zero, so I can add those effectively. 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 0 is 2, 7 plus 1 is 8, and 13 plus 12 is 25. Now, I'm not done, because this is only this right now. My my height with Charlie's height. What I need to do is then take away David's height from that. So I subtract 14.16. Again I don't have enough place values. So I go to my zero. 8, 2 minus 6, well I can't do that. I need to borrow, exchange. That becomes a 7 because I'm taking 10 away from that place value and giving it over here. So now 12 minus 6 is 6, 7 minus 1 is 6, and then 25 minus 14, I know, is 11. So we can say that Charlie and I together jumped 11 and 668 thousandths inches higher than David jumped all by himself. You could always check this, and I would recommend you check it, especially in the next two problems where it's, you work through it. Then the bring back to school problem by adding these, then adding these to try to get that into that. I'll model that on the next one. So, our next one is another jump shot, but rather than using um, heights this time, I'm using how long we were in the air. So, David was in the air for 3.4 seconds, Jess was in the air for 7.4 one, two seconds. Crystal, new friend, um, for that long, and I was in the air for that long. So now I want to know, who is in the air for longer, the men or the women? So obviously David and I are the men, Justin and Crystal are the women. And then I want to know, by how much? So again, this is a multi-step problem. Work it out, and check them. All right, let's work through this. Now, it's saying how much was in the air for who was in the air for longer than my other one, and by how much. So I know I can't just take mine, I can't just take Davis for the men, I need to add them up. So 3.4 plus 6.918. Need my place values here. Add those up. So 8, 1, that would be 13, so I carry that up, and that would then give me 10. So this is how much, I'm going, to, I'm going to label that for myself, men, that's how much. And to check that, I would do 10.318 minus 6.918, 0, 0, that would become a 9, that would become a 13, because I just borrowed one place value from the ones place for and then 3, so 3.4. So I checked that to make sure I got that. Now I need to add up Justin Crystals. So 7.12 plus 
2.001, add that up, need my place value there, 1, 2, 1, 9. So now I see, oh, and then I would check that, 9.121 minus 2.001, 0, 2, 1, 7. So I know, I know that the combined heights are now um, the correct response. So we have the women's height and the men's height. So that's our first part of our question. Who, which one is bigger? Obviously, we can see that the men is bigger because they have a 10 in the one's place value. So I know the, the men were in there for longer. However, I also want to know by how much. So, I need to get myself some more room here. So, for how much, I need to subtract the difference, I need to find the difference between the two. So, I take the men's total height, which was 10.318, minus the women's height, which was 9.121. Now, I subtract it just like normal. 8 minus 1 is 7. I can't take two away from one. Now I can do that. And one. Now, you might look at ten mi or zero minus nine and think you can't do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to think of this as ten, rather than and I'm going to save myself some time. So ten minus nine is one. Let's check that to make sure. Eight, one, three, ten. All right. So this is my final answer to the whole thing. We were in there for one point or one and one hundred ninety-seven thousandths seconds longer, which isn't a whole heck of a lot longer. But you see, multi-step problem there. I had to add the two heights of the men and then subtract the, the um, from each other. And I hope that's what you did. Now you bring back to school problem. It says at the Google store, Mr. B bought a hat for eight ninety-seven, a pair of sunglasses for three ten. If I gave the cashier, cashier $15, how much change did he get? I'm going to give you a little clue here, though. I want you to really think about that $15. That's going to be your clue here. But solve it. Again, it is a multi-step problem. There are actually two different ways you can solve this. So if you solve it in two different ways, I will give you an additional 10 points bonus if you do it in two ways. 10 points for the leaderboard, which could help you out. Um, and I'll give you 5 points if you try two different ways. Alright, I will see you in the morning.